Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fight fans around the world, I am Robert Huddleston. This is Huddleston's Hideaway, and this is the golden age of combat sports. This past weekend, we had four events. I'm going to just hit the highlights from those. We had two events in Bellator. My guy, Alessio Sakara, I've always been a big fan of him, Legionarius, scored a 23-second knockout. Uh, God bless, I couldn't take the fella he did it to, but it was sure fun to watch. Melvin Manholf scored his 26th first round KO. I don't really remember what else happened much in Bellator this weekend, I'll be honest. Those were the highlights to me. I know there were a bunch of other fighters. My apologies to them. The UFC this past weekend was Johanna Five Names. Johanna Young Jacek. Johanna Champion. Johanna Violence. Johanna Jeter Jacek. Call her Johanna Five Names. Johanna Five Names. Beat up Michelle Waterson. I knew she was gonna. Michelle was there the whole time. She didn't lay down, but the skills are similar. I think Johanna's better, and then she's bigger. I mean, I didn't make a prediction. I think we all thought Johanna was gonna win that one. Same thing with uh, Cub and Chrome Gracie. Um, good fight. Chrome was there to the end. You know, he he got beat up. He lost the fight standing, but it also, in the, I mean, in the judge's eyes, if he would have never pulled a guard, I'm sure he would have still lost. But pulling guard and not getting it as many times as he did. Now, if he would have got it once, he would have locked up like a bear trap, and we would have been like, oh, well, all he had to do was get it once. It didn't work out. I'm not surprised. I was picking Cub to beat him. Um, tough as any Gracie. He took a right fine beat and stayed there every minute. No controversy there, except afterward, he was pretty adamant that he... He won that fight. Now, I was really praising him going in because he said he wanted a tough opponent. And he didn't care about his undefeated record. He didn't care about being protected. He wanted to, uh, he really wanted to test himself. Well, you can't ask for a tough opponent and then come up short and then cry sour. I mean, you lost that fight. But now on to the fun stuff. In one championship this weekend, uh... D Demetrius Johnson beat up a guy named Kingrad. I, mean, I didn't even tune into that one. I really anticipated. Hey, if Kingrad put up a great fight and I missed a, a hell of a fight, someone educate me. I didn't tune in. I saw that DJ won a decision, and that's what I was expecting. I wouldn't have missed the 185-pound and 205-pound champ champ, Ang La Ong Song, fighting the heavyweight champ, Brandon the Truth Bearer. Now, I've been a Brandon the Truth Bearer fan since he knocked out some no-name back in the UFC and told Chuck Liddell, he did this at heavyweight, and then told Chuck Liddell in the audience that he was going to one day hold both belts. He was going to be the double champ. Well, he attempted to on Saturday night. Oh, and this was a hell of a fight. Brandon was a bigger guy. He's never looked physically better to me. Um, Just jacked, lean, looked great. Top of the food chain striker, but so was Angla. Angla was a little bit smaller, but he was mad jacked. I mean, these were two big, muscular guys throwing mad heat. And, I mean, they threw like they they were they were trading punches like they'd never heard of CTE. And in the second round, Angla found a spinning elbow that I think really concussed Brandon because he responded with his own spinning elbow that was like a mile off. And Angla found that chin and stopped him. But it was a brilliant fight. Uh, no shame to Brandon Vera losing that fight. Hell of a fight. And Uncle Law's a bad dude. I mean, he's 185 pound, 205 pound champ over all of Asia. You know, a billion people tune in. I can't even imagine with how deep their pool of fighters goes. Uncle Law's a bad dude. And I, th I think that's 185 and 205, I think, are interchangeable. Like when you're six foot, six foot one, and 200 pounds. You, you can go to 185, you can go to 220. There's a real range of like 40 pounds in there you can do. And that leads me to this week. And this weekend, Chris Weidman is making his light heavyweight debut against Eric Anders in the UFC. Or no, not Eric Anders, what's his name? Uh, Eric Reyes. Eric Reyes. Get those two gentlemen confused. He's fighting Eric Reyes. And Eric Reyes is undefeated. Bad dude. I mean, I'm picking Chris Weidman. I think Chris Weidman should have made this move five years ago. Um, I think all the people that beat him at 185, and those guys can all fight at 205 as well. 
if he would meet them at 205, I think he would win every one of those fights. Uh, Yoel, Gegard, and Luke Rockhold. I, I, I would pick Chris to beat all of them at 205. So I think he's just been I think he's been cutting too much weight for too long and has been in the wrong division for too long. I'm really looking forward to that one. I, is Chris Weidman the guy who can beat John Jones? Probably not, but I really want to see it. If anybody could, it would be a 205 pound Chris. Uh, can he outstrike John? He once outstruck Anderson. Could he out wrestle John? He's an All-American and not a little guy. But he has to get past Reyes this weekend. And Reyes is a bad dude. I'm not selling him short at all. Tough guy. And Yari, Ray Yari Rodriguez is meeting Jeremy Stevens again. They fought a few weeks back. It ended abruptly with an eye poke like 10 seconds into the fight. No big. It happens. They're going to run it back. Except Yari says that Jeremy was trying to get out of the fight with him. Showed up, trained, showed Mexico City. And, I mean, everybody knows that Jeremy Stevens is nothing but tough. To say that he wanted out of the fight with you, that he was afraid of you. Mm. I kind of like Yari Rodriguez before that. I have to say that kind of makes me a not fan. I'm, I'm really pulling for Jeremy this weekend. Yeah, it was a great weekend of fights this past weekend. This coming weekend, I'm picking Weidman, I'm picking Stevens. Tell me what you guys think. Behave, be brave. God bless.